God created man in his own image and likeness. Male and female, he created them. By these words in this creation account, God is teaching us about one of the most beautiful aspects of our human lives, the truth about the gift of sexuality. I do not stand before you to speak about a party or a person running for office. It is our scriptures that draw out this issue for our reflection and invite a deeper understanding into the institution of marriage. I believe that what is being separated now are these two ends and purposes, union and procreation, both of which are essential to raising a family and to the rights of children to be loved by a mother and a father who each have their complementary role to play. The political reality is what stands before us as an issue in the upcoming election. I urge you to vote against question six and to uphold marriage in Maryland as between one man and one woman. The beauty and purpose of sexuality in marriage that sees one man and one woman coming together in a union of life and love are elements that God has joined and no man government or culture can separate.